नमस्कार दिस इज अखिलेश भार्गव वेलकम टू टेक बिट्स ऑन बिजनेस एंड फाइनेंस विद मी टुडे लेट्स डिस्कस द रीसेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट इन द केस ऑफ एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ पर्सनल गारंटीज बाय बैंक्स एंड व्हाट अ लैंडमार्क जजमेंट बैंकर्स शुड बी रिजॉइसिंग टुडे विद बैंक्स इन इंडिया अनएबल टू एनफोर्स एनी मीनिंगफुल रिकवरी फ्रॉम बोरोअर्स एंड एक्सेप्टिंग ह्यूज हेयर कट्स एंड राइट ऑफ टू सेटल लोन्स like the recent 90% write off in the case of csif sankran or 87% in the case of alok industries and so many others it is because of this failure to recover that india's bank npa crisis has remained unresolved in the growing majority of cases defaulting companies have got poor and bankrupt mainly because their fraudulent promoters siphoned away their funds and cheated the companies as well as the lenders too The fact however is that these truant promoters of company who cheated them have often given their personal guarantees to the banks and therefore if the lenders were to have seized the personal assets of these guarantors as well as the assets of the company then a significant portion of bank loans would have been recovered and the crisis could have been solved but due to glaring loopholes and lacuna in law and also due to the obvious reluctance of the bankers themselves it rarely happens in india particularly in the case of influential corporate borrowers it has been a weak law and also its near absence that has facilitated such banking crimes and non recovery of loans which according to us has minted fraud tycoons in india till the debt recovery tribunals were formed in the late 90s the process of recovery of a bank loan from a defaulting borrower was very slow and difficult it was so not just because of the nature of the laws and of course the way the judiciary functions but also because very often the corrupt bankers wanted the recovery to be slow because they were involved in that kind of fraud lending the drts and the surface act were expected to improve the recovery of loans by banks in a time bound manner but that never did happen moreover even if recovery was made from a defaulting corporate it was however not made from the promoters though they had given their personal guarantees for the loans taken by the company that's because there was no clear law truly to drag a promoter guarantee into his insolvency and enforcement of recovery of the loan This in effect meant that the delinquent promoters whose malpractices siphoning and misconduct were generally responsible for the company's pathetic financial situation and bankruptcy and from whom the recovery should have actually been made first they not only got away with the loot but they enjoyed too that's why we said fraud tycoons the insolvency and bankruptcy code of 2017 was expected to resolve this anomaly by authorizing and initiating simultaneous recovery and insolvency proceedings against the defaulting company and its promoter guarantors too but under the law as it was till 15th november 2019 the ibc could initiate insolvency and recovery action only against corporates and against corporate guarantors but not against those persons those individuals who had stood guarantee for loans given to corporates in their personal capacity the banks would take such action in the nclt only against the company and not against its promoter guarantors on whose personal guarantee the banks had agreed to give the loans to the company the nclt under the ibc was therefore not empowered to take recovery action against the individual guarantors who are often the persons directly responsible for a company's sickness a company's failure and bankruptcy and also its consequent loan default moreover once the corporate loans were settled often at huge haircuts under the nclt these individual guarantors now started claiming that they also stood discharged and that they were no longer liable for the company's loans for which they had given their personal guarantee that meant that they not only went scot free but they would also get to enjoy the loot that was not what the law ever intended the circular of 15th november 2019 effective from 1st december 2019 changed it all the lending banks under the new circular could now simultaneously initiate recovery and insolvency proceedings at the nclt 
against the company as well as directors who had given guarantee for loans that were advanced to the company by the banks. This new position meant that the likes of Anil Ambani of Arcom, Kapil Vadhwan of DHFL, Sanjay Singhal of Bhushan Steel, Venugopal Dhut of Videocon, SRs of Ruya, Atul Punj of Punj Lloyd and many others who have reportedly given their personal guarantees for loans taken by their companies would now be personally liable and would now have to face recovery and perhaps insolvency and bankruptcy proceedings. On the issuance of this circular, the banks of course promptly file suits against all these guarantors. With personal liabilities of tens of thousands of crores staring in their face, all these defaulters immediately rushed in writ petitions to the Supreme Court challenging this circular to be arbitrary, unconstitutional, discriminatory and illegal, engaging a battery of top lawyers led by Shri Harish Salve. In a recent landmark judgment, the Supreme Court rejected these writs and held that the circular was legal and valid and that, the Supreme Court said, approval of a resolution planned by banks to settle a loan whether by way of a one-time settlement or takeover of the company, etc., will not discharge, extinguish or bring the personal guarantee of the guarantor to an end. And the personal guarantor is not going to be discharged from his personal guarantee, even if the loan got settled in any manner. Thus, even after settling dues with the company, the banks can now chase the personal guarantee, the personal guarantor for the balance dues that are now recoverable by them. The second thing that the Supreme Court said was that the liability of these guarantors is joint, several and coextensive with that of the borrowers and it can be invoked by the lenders simultaneously and whenever they choose, choose to do so. They can have parallel recovery proceedings against the corporate as well as the individuals who had given guarantees for these loans that were given to them. In other words, they are personally and directly liable for the corporate debt for which they had stood guarantee. This, as we said, is a significant landmark judgment for the banking industry. No wonder bank stocks went up the very next day on the stock markets. The larger picture that emerges from this judgment henceforward is extremely encouraging for the banks according to us. And the reasons for this picture being encouraging are many. The first reason, with personal fortunes of these guarantor promoters now at stake, it will serve as a deterrent to fraudulent promoters from indulging and siphoning of funds and bankrupting their companies and cheating banks. They are now going to be personally responsible. The second one, in case of a default, bankers will often prefer to now hound the guarantors first than the company itself and the promoters will prefer to somehow arrange the funds and repay the loans rather than risk their personal assets and their personal fortunes. The third, with the personal wealth of promoters now at stake, in the case of corporate default, the recovery by banks will be much better and much faster. They now have what is called the benefit of double dip, recover from the corporate and also from the guarantor. The fourth, much better and competitive settlement bids will now be received in the NCLT for the takeover of companies. It will maximize the value of sick assets and enterprises which are being resolved by the IBC through the NCLT. The fifth one, henceforward, for the recovery of loans from corporates, the banks will file simultaneous insolvency proceedings against the company and its guarantors too. With the insolvency and bankruptcy of the company and its guarantors being handled in the same court, that is in the NCLT, even the resolution of cases will be faster. The drag of the judiciary will be much lower. The sixth point, as we see it, to ensure viability of companies, lenders will be willing to give higher haircuts in deserving cases to those corporates where they will survive if they are given a higher haircut and where the bank is very clear that it can do additional recovery of the balance amount from the personal assets of the guarantors to those loans. It will ensure that more viable companies survive and they are not liquidated. The seventh one, it will fix the personal responsibility of those who managed the company and bankrupted it and they will not be able to walk away from the scene rich and prosperous with the loot as they have always done so far in India. To conclude, as one expert commented, 
This action against individual guarantors was a missing piece in the recovery process of banks and with this in place, their recovery should be much faster and much better. Except, as we would say, in the case of maybe recoveries from cronies of the system. Because cronies of the system thrive in business as well as in bankruptcy. And it is they who are responsible for India's banking mess to a large measure. And we think they might still go unpunished despite this judgment of the Supreme Court. This is Akhilesh Bhargav signing off till we meet again. Namaskar. Hello everyone. HW News English is two years old now. When we started this venture, we promised ourselves one thing. That news should remain free. Because right to know is the right of every Indian. But to keep news free for everyone, we need support from some of you. And thus, we have rolled out membership on our YouTube channel, HW News English. But mind you, the membership is completely voluntary. The programs that we were doing earlier, that we are doing now, will continue to remain free. First level is a basic level. Here, you can be our supporter by paying rupees 199 per month. This membership gives you certain perks and benefits. The perks include unique batches in front of your name. A live show from Mr. Sujit Nair and from Mr. Akhilesh Bhargava per month for our members. You can also vote in some exclusive members only polls. Now the second level is Super Supporter. Here you can be our Super Supporter by paying rupees 399 per month. This membership will include every perk that comes with basic level. Additionally, our Super Supporters can be a part of a WhatsApp group where we can have discussions and suggestions on various topics. The second perk includes a gift pack with our merchandise. And the third perk is a Google Meet with Mr. Sujit Nair where you can join the meet and ask your questions to Mr. Nair face to face. Lastly, if you like, we would give a shout out to our super supporters in our programs. So, hope to see you soon with our badges.